Hi everyone, Natasha here. I forgot my name for a minute. <laughs> Boy, welcome. It's Thursday. I'm back here in my dining room around my home today, and I'm here to share with you our Fly Lady Cruising Through the Holidays mission for today. So it's Thursday, November. 11, 12, 13, 14th today. Oh my goodness. So it's warming up around here. Things are melting and thawing, which is nice. I'll take a few more days in the 60s. That would be just fine by me. Um, but we are moving on to errand day in the Fly Lady system. So as you know, Thursdays are her errand day. Once again, do it on whatever day of the week works for you, but it does help to just have one day that you're setting aside for errands. And the benefit of that is that Every time you think of something you might need to go run out and get, you can pause for a minute, jot it down on your errand list, and that's combining that into one trip instead of being so crazy and running around in lots of directions every day. Now, granted, if you work outside the home and you run past the grocery store every day on your way home from work, you may end up having uh, several days a week that you stop, but it can just help to streamline your life a little bit if you set aside some specific tasks for specific days of the week. Okay, so today she wants to um, have you work on your food shopping list and specifically while you're out running your errands, try to pick up all of your non-perishable food items. So this is your mission number 19 in the cruising through the holiday system. So things like any of your you know, dry goods, canned food, boxed goods, any of those things that can just sit on the shelf and wait until you're ready to use them for your holiday meals and um, planning and prepping and all of that. If you're doing baking, pick up all the flour, sugar, oatmeal, all that stuff that you need now and make sure you have enough baking powder and baking soda and salt, all those things. Just get them on your list and while you're out running your errands, you can make sure you're stocking up on all that. And it could even be things like paper towels, toilet paper, you know, any of the basically non-perishables that you can stock up on. So see what you can take a look at and jot onto your list and hopefully that will just get us one step closer to um, enjoying the holidays without all these extra little things to do. And I was listening to The Minimal Mom today and she was just talking about how part of streamlining the holidays is being careful about which invitations you say yes to and I just want to second that and say that's such an important point because I struggle with this that part of the holidays are just going to all the parties and attending all the events and that's what's fun about it but if it gets to be too much then I feel overloaded and stressed and overwhelmed and that's when I make poor decisions and buy impulsively and spend too much so just a nice gentle reminder for all of us that that's one of the benefits of doing some of this ahead of time while we're not so stressed stressed, and stretched so thin while our schedules are not so full. Um, it might be somewhat full now, but it's way worse as you get into December, at least for us around here. So taking care of this now just alleviates some of that for down the road a little bit. So you're giving your future self a little gift. So, all right, that's my message for today. <laughs> I'll get off my soap, soapbox, but thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below if you're enjoying this series and want to see the next one, uh, next video in the series. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, do you have a certain day of the week that you do your errands or do you just stop when you need to? I live 20 minutes from the nearest town large enough to do most of my shopping, so I typically have one day a week that I'm doing my errands. Sometimes it's two, but now that all, um, Instacart is delivering to my area, that's helped with that a lot. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Friday and our mission number 20. So we're moving along, and the weekend is so close. We can see it. <laughs> it's right over there. So all right, thanks, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.